Colonising springtails can be achieved in quite a few ways, including using charcoal, sphagnum moss, clay and even phasmid poo. At the beginning of our business, Cassie's Critters, we used to make our colonies using moist sphagnum moss. But ever since that sphagnum moss shortage that occurred in 2021, we have been using natural clay harvested from our local water sources. In the past, we have also trialled using store-bought clay, but the colonies did not thrive at all most likely due to some unknown chemical within the product. Clay harvested from natural deposits, on the other hand, creates colonies that thrive even better than the sphagnum moss colonies that we used to make. Deposits of naturally occurring clay can be found along the banks of water sources, such as lakes and rivers. We either collect our clay from the banks of Lake Boga or the banks of the Murray River. Once harvested, we then press the clay all around the bottom and sides of plastic containers. and then we sprinkle some brewer's yeast on top. This yeast will begin to grow mould, which will act as a food source for the springtails that will live in this container. We then collect springtails from our isopod colonies. We do this by lifting up the wood pieces in our isopod containers and then tapping the wood over the clay colony to deposit all the springtails into the container. Before closing the lid, we make sure no isopods have accidentally fallen into the container with the springtails. Due to how small springtails are, ventilation holes are not recommended, since they will escape from these holes. To give the springtails a sufficient amount of oxygen to survive, all we do is open the container once a week. And this is usually done when we give the colonies their weekly mist of water.